Hi, this is Gene Arnold, and today you're going to see a demonstration on how you can pull out data from Jasper Report Server using Visualize.js and not actually get a report through the, um, the JavaScript API, but just extracting the data from the API and then using that data with something else, maybe another visualization. So what you're seeing in just a moment is a word cloud being built up on the left-hand side of the screen. This word cloud is being built off of data from the, the Supermart database, the Foodmart database. These are all the products that were used in different purchases. When I click on one, you'll see that this is tied to another Jasper report. And this Jasper report is going to be filtered by whatever item I'm clicking on here. So let's take a look at the special wheat puffs. Now what you're going to see in a moment is, well, number one, it's, it's a large font. So that means special wheat puffs have been used in a number of different purchases. What you'll see after I click on this is these purchases broken down by the, the stores themselves. So if we click on special wheat puffs, now you'll see how many stores actually sold this specific product. Now, that, that's not really important. It's not the, the data and how it's being filled. That's, that's okay, fine. But the idea is technically what's going on. What you're doing here is you're using a third-party visualization being built off of data from, from a Jaspersoft report because it is actually using a report. And then you're seeing this third-party visualization interact with a true Jaspersoft report and visualization on this screen. So let's go and open up the, um, the first report. The first report is going to bring back all of the different products. Okay, if I click on preview, you'll see each product and how many times it was used or rather sold. So what you do to make this work is you have to go into the source of the report and you have to add some specific tags in here to have the data available as a JSON object. So with inside of the uh, the text field that's going to be available in the report you have to normally this report element is just a single uh, single um, node single item here and it's just it's closed off right here instead you have to put closing tag here and you have to add this so it's using a, a property of the Java the Java library NT SF Jasper reports dot export dot json dot the path here you're building the path and right off the um the main the main um array we're just going to make one called product name and then within it we're going to have another one called product count and that's it we're building up that line let's sh let me show you what this actually looks like when it does when it does come back so we'll go back over here and take a look at this in developer mode and let's take a look at my source and we're going to look at processing my data. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look at the data that actually comes back over here. We have to do a little bit of a cleaning up of the data just so it works good with the cloud. But regardless, that's not what's important. What's important is, let's stop right here. Let's go and refresh. And we're gonna catch it with the data that comes back. I'll show you the, the visualized code that works here, but let's just take a look at the data object over here. And notice you're gonna see an array. These are all my objects, and here it is. Product count, okay, and product name. Okay, here we go. Product count, product name. This is a byproduct of those 
different lines of code that I added to the source of the report. Right, let's take that off and run it. It'll start building up and doing its thing. Let's take a look at the source code that actually makes this work. There's not a lot going on with the web page. I've got one div called display, and that's that changes every time I hover over a word. It changes its name. You're using a canvas tag to build out the actual word cloud, so you need that. I'm putting it to the left just so I can make the, the two charts sit next to each other, and I'm purposely changing the cursor to a pointer when I hover over it. And I need a final div for a, a location for my report to be placed into. Now, there's not a ton of code here, but I'm going to make it even shorter and just kind of get down to what's going on. The first thing that I do is I go and I, I go and I get my data. So getting my data requires me to do a visualize call. Everything's just hard coded. It's just an example of how this would work. Just like tradition, you're going in, you're going to pull back a specific report. But what's different is you're not giving it a, um, a container or anything like that when the report's done. You're basically saying after you grab the report back, rather than spitting it back out to a container, based on the successful um, call, you're going to go and take this report, all right, and call its export function. We want to export to JSON, and then we're going to run a function with the data. I get my data from the request, and I take it and I send it to my process data function. And within process data, I you know, I do some things, that's all cool, and after my data is all set up the way I want to. This has nothing to do with visualize. This is just me setting up the data the way I need to to make it work with inside the, the tool. I then send the result to Display Cloud, and then this is going to render the uh, data onto Word Cloud. I'm not getting too deep into this because the main reason for this video is how to build an export with visualize.js. I am by no means an expert on how this component works or anything like that. So I really want to make sure I just specifically focus on the visualize and the Jasper part. But I, I render it. The only thing I will kind of show over here is that the cloud has a click and a hover function. The click function, if you bind to it, when you click on it, it passes the item that you clicked, a dimension, and the event itself. All right. So I'm taking the item and passing that item to the sub-report. And the reason why I need the item is I need that item. I needed the name of the item. Now, the item is the actual um, name. Actually, let me, let me show you what the item looks like. That's kind of neat. Let's go and take a look at that. Um, click here. Let's go and click on this for a second. The item, if you take a look at the item, it's not, look, it's actually just right what makes it up remember that list i was showing you earlier name number name number okay so it's going to send me this now i can then take it and i use it in my sub report as a filter as a parameter as a parameter in the following report and that's really how the whole thing whole thing goes. It's not a, um, it's it's well, it's, it's not a lot of code, but it is pretty darn cool on what it can do, because now you can use this as a as a tool to integrate the results of Jasper reports with third party tools. And I think that is really neat because let's say that you had a report on the screen, and I wanted to go the other way around. Maybe I wanted to show a visualize, uh, a, you know, a Jasper report. And by clicking on the report, I wanted to do something with the data itself. Send it to a word cloud or I don't know, do anything with the data that I have to not not really a traditional export because you can do an export like to a PDF or a CSV. You can do that anyway. I don't mean that. I mean, export it, but have it as an object you can work with within the JavaScript that you're working with there. 
and pass it to something else. That's what I think is really cool. You, because I'm, I'm, I'm working at the code level here, doing some cool stuff. So anyway, that's what this example is all about. Hopefully, it is helpful. Um, I'll do the best I can to zip up all this code and the reports and everything, and make it available. Um, but uh, still, nonetheless, this should be enough to get you going and show you how to build, um, or at least how to export data through visualize.js via JSON. What you do with it is completely up to you, and hopefully I uh, find out that you do something really creative and pretty amazing. Thanks a lot for watching.